Oh yes, MDF, the fakest wood known to man. Definitely not the finest of fine woods, but guess what? You can make a lot of things out of it pretty cheap. I don't know, maybe you want to make a shelf for your kids that will make them extremely happy. But there's one main issue when it comes to MDF. It absolutely sucks to paint it. Here's the deal. MDF is like a sponge when you try to put paint on it. Especially spray paint. Especially white spray paint. But don't worry, in this video I'm going to show you the second way to spray paint MDF and make it come out like a professional did it. Yeah, that's right, I said second, because we already did a video on this using a different method, which I'll put at the end of this video for you to check out. However, on that video, a lot of the subscribers mentioned this is a way that you can do it as well, so let's check it out. We have one piece of MDF with a piece of blue tape going straight down the middle. On the left, we're going to use our method to paint the MDF. On the right, we're not going to do anything to it and simply spray paint it like you're probably doing now. We're also going to spray paint the edges of each side, the treated and non-treated, to see if it works out the way we want it to. Now what is our treatment method, you ask? It's shellac attack. Shellac attack. That's right, a good old $13 can of shellac. This is the second other method that the subscribers have mentioned that worked very well for them. And what's nice about it is it's cheap. The method I did, even though I think it works a little bit better, it's still a little bit more expensive where this is only around $13 a can. Check it out, it looks all super like. Now I got my sponge brush, but you can use a regular brush if you want to. On the left hand side, that is going to be our treated side. On the right side, remember that's our control. We're just gonna hit it with spray paint, just like you would do at home, not knowing that well, you sort of need to treat it and it's probably gonna turn out like crap, whatever. Let's treat our MDF. All right, here's the thing. On the top of the MDF, you usually don't have too much issue. It's, it's more solid, I would say. It's pressed down really hard, so it's not as porous. It won't soak in as much as you will have on the sides. So that said, I would at least add two coats on top and at least three coats on each side. The reason for that is if you cut the size of that, I'm telling you, it's like a sponge. It's gonna suck that paint in and you're gonna be miserable. So no less than three coats. Now what's going to happen is that shellac is going to penetrate down into that MDF and it's going to give it a protectant. And then it's gonna dry really hard. It usually takes around 10 to 15 minutes before you can add your second coat. Now if you're in a room around 70 degrees, it'll take around two, maybe two and a half to three hours for this stuff to completely dry. If it's a summer day like it is today, well it's probably going to be dry in 30 minutes because it's 80 degrees outside with very little humidity. Now, after it's dry, give it another shellac attack and let it set up again. Now, the one thing I do like about the shellac compared to the other method that we used, remember I'll put that at the end of this video, was this is not a water base and it's a little bit thinner, so it goes on a lot easier and you don't use as much. And now that we have our left side completely coated in the shellac, we're gonna let it dry because it is a little tacky and you don't want that because we're gonna sand that with some very fine sandpaper. So let's move it over to the side that we did not shellac. And if you notice, I enjoy saying shellac. Let's just take that tape off. We don't need it no more. But what I will do is take some paper towel and just lay it down so I don't get overspray all over the place. Now this is some Rust-Oleum that we have here, two times the coverage with primer inside. So it's a pretty nice spray paint that covers pretty well. What we're going to do is spray paint the side that's untreated that has no shellac. But to be fair, let me sand it down with some 1500 grit to make it real smooth. We're gonna do the shellac side too, just like this. And now what we're going to do is simply spray paint it. This is probably what you're doing at home and running into issue. As you can see, when I spray those edges, it just sucks that paint up right up inside because there ain't no shellac. Now again, the top of the MDF, it's not so bad because it does have a harder texture up on top compared to where we cut this on the side, but we're still running into issue where it sucks it up inside because there ain't no shellac. Let's take a closer look at the side when I spray paint it. Yep, that MDF is hungry. It's taking that spray painting, eating it up. And this is where the problem starts. We keep adding more and more and more spray paint to the point we're trying to gunk it up and trying to get it to stick and it just won't do it. Now we're adding a second coat to the top and the sides again. Probably gonna put a third coat on because it just keeps taking it down. Now you can see it looks like crap. 
And when you were spray painting your MDF, you were probably running into the exact same issue. And that's why you came in this video. And I truly appreciate that. If you could smash that like button, that would also be greatly appreciated. So there's our second coat. We're hitting the sides. We're doing the top. And it's just sucking it in because, you guessed it, there ain't no shellac. It looks like crap because there ain't no shellac. I like it. It's my catchphrase. All right, so there you go. Two coats. Looks like crap. It's going to dry like crap. We're going to move it along to the other side. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to sand it down just like we did this side here. And you can see it just doesn't cover right. There's splotches all over the place. It just looks really, really bad. You can go through 15 cans of spray paint. It's going to start glopping up on you. It's going to start running on you. It's not going to look good for you. Now, a few hours later, our shellac is now dry, and we're just gonna take that 1500 grit sandpaper. You can use 1000 grit if you want, and we're gonna sand it down as well. Just be careful. You don't wanna ruin your edges or make them rounded over. But what you are looking for is that super smooth surface. You want something that paint's gonna be able to stick to, but shine at the same time. Man, I'm just rhyming all over the place today. I'm like Dr. Seuss. Now that we have that so smooth, what we're gonna do, we're gonna spray paint it. All right, just like the other side, we're gonna take our spray paint, we'll hit our sides first, and then we're gonna go over the top. Now, what's cool about the shellac is that it hardened up. So the more you put on, the stronger, the denser it's going to be, and it's only going to allow that paint to absorb so much. Not only that, the untreated side, well, it's gonna start absorbing that and making that side rough, where this, it will not do that. It's gonna stay smooth, it's gonna remain like glass. Now, we're gonna put a second coat on top of this, but you can see it does not absorb like it is on the other side. It allows you to put more spray paint on. Again, it doesn't suck it down. Okay, now we put two coats on the left, two coats on the control where we did not slack it. And right off the bat, look at the edges. The edges, no matter what we do, how many coats we put on, it's just gonna keep on bringing it on the inside. It's not going to give it that shine. Where on the left, where we put the shellac, yeah, check out that difference. It is night and day. And not only does it look better, it's nowhere near as rough as the control side. Now let me say one other thing. I don't know how well this camera actually picked up on the control side. It looks really, really bad in real life. There's splotches all over the place. It looks like it's just, I don't know, it's horrible. I'll try to give you a few camera angles because the white does reflect that light, but I'm telling you, it looks nasty where on the left where we put that shellac it really really looks good it is covered completely 100 percent even and it's so smooth there's a different angle for you yep it looks like crap because we didn't give it the shellac attack now again there is one other method that we tried on this channel which i think works a little bit better it's a little bit more expensive but it does a great job however the shellac also does a really good job you just have to add a few more coats on your mdf before you can get it to shine like this but i want to know what you think have you ever used this method does it work for you or are you one of those ones that just struggle trying to paint this mdf and hopefully this helped and if it did you could smash that like button it'd be greatly appreciated also if this helped Get subscribed, hit that bell notification because we have a lot more videos coming your way just like this. As a matter of fact, I'll put a couple right here for you to check out now. As always, I appreciate you stopping by. We'll be back with more videos soon.